upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up. After all that time, she said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So the little brother got so angry, he killed her. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, no, no. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. <laughs> D 
Diaz brothers. Always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? No. I guess... I don't feel that bad about what I did. Maybe... that's bad. Not in this case. It was her or us. You did what you had to do, and I know. I know. She was so nice at first. I can't believe she turned me against you. I'm sorry, Sean. <laughs> no way. We're the wolf bros. Nobody can tear us apart. Nobody. Right? Sean. Are we criminals now? No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. I won't let them get us. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anano. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. <sighs> been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, thanks to their mama wolf, the Wolf Brothers barely escaped from the Coyote Cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them, and their destination lied. The evil Chupacabra. And they would have to fight it together. Uh, um, excuse me. Who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay then. So what happens next? Okay, so the Wolf Brothers encounter the evil Chupacabra. And he attacks them. He's very dangerous. But the little wolf uses his powers to crush him. They arrive in the magic land as heroes. Because they have defeated the beast. <laughs> okay, Stephen King Jr. You win. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. I'm glad we had these. Not a fan of desert critters. Every star looked the same until we used Karen's old guidebook. Sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop drawing. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hey, can't 
Can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm. I can try. My back hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Yeah, that's cool. But he doesn't look as badass as me. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah. I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah. Right. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. So nice and cool in the morning. Yeah. Activate flashlight. On the way. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. We could go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? Dude. We don't Come have on. time to play. Let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. <laughs> yeah, these guys are real cool. Amazing that anything can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well... Oh. Uh... Good question. Think Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power <laughs> out here. Not... hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. <sighs> you know, I could have done it by myself, right? Hey, let me be the cool, helpful big brother once in a... Oh, shit. That wasn't here yesterday.
So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. <sighs> Boom. Easy peasy. <laughs> nice, man. see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry. I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. Excuse me. Water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. <laughs> oh yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. Thank you. 
It's nice to play games with Daniel again. <laughs> Karen likes to join us, too. Still can't believe she's kept it. Nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party made him feel so happy. Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. I hope Karen sends this to Claire and Steven. She's really good at rewriting her own life. This one's pretty intense. I think I get it. Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. Looks like they all finally found their home. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition now. One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their love for pancakes. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh, gross. Brody's so good at describing painful situations and seeing the good into it. I miss you too, sis. Hope we can take some new pictures someday. <laughs> Had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. Whoa, I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Hey, Dad. Lila always knew how to crack me up. So good to have a home. Again. And a real bed. Gotta keep my eye lube handy. Glad I don't need it as much. Ugh. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. Man, I'm still not used to this heat out here. Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping. <laughs> oh. 
Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <laughs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. That sounds cool, but we gotta be leaving soon. We still have a ways to go. Technically, you're already in a way. I get it, you still have to find your home. We were lucky, and old enough, to find ours here. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. <sighs> I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. Do you remind me of Claire and Steven? In a weird, hippie version. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. Dude, I don't care what they do. That's their life. Aw, uh, don't be such a buzzkill. I just mean... Now that's some real patriots. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. Hey, mm. artist, come it's been a while Joanne's since place. we last heard about we'll you wild sculptures. You think you'll be back? Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. You don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. <laughs> we helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars. As David calls it. David always wants to help. But he's tough to figure out. <laughs> Looking at this place... I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. Karen did help us a lot since she found me and Daniel. Hmm. Better late than never.
Joanne can throw a total rager out here. But without asshole neighbors. Get a better grip. Do you? There's power cuts all the time here. Like. But no one's really bothered by it. Yeah. It tickles. Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. That's so weird. I love it. Yeah. Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <sighs> Kinda like me and Lila. Back in the day. Love watching movies under the stars. Like a drive-in. With no cars. <sighs> Dude. Remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? <laughs> What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Shut this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. It's nothing special, compared to what he has. Well, what he has is some next-level sci-fi shit, Sean. You can't compare yourself to him. None of us can. But what you have is a precious gift that will guide you through this cosmogonic mess. If you let it. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Till I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input. Okay? <sighs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Watch this. Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. Maybe you should keep the same bottom piece, don't you think? Daniel, you know every artist sees and does things differently. I know. I just wanted to help him see it in my way. Ready, Sean? Hmm. 
Let's cut the pancake head for now. There he goes! <laughs> Man, I thought my art was weird. Maybe that's supposed to represent the Earth. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Can you... Slam dunk the earth ball onto the base. Watch this layup. Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Hey, can you turn that earth ball around a little bit? Check it out. Now, let's throw on that spider. You got it. Activate Pancake Head. Just like half a turn. See, Sean. Yo, can you turn that that um, spider thingy around? Sweet. Okay, how about turning that pancake head? Totally. <laughs> Spin that pancake! Spin! You got it. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe give that spider another twist? Turn the spider, please. Sweet. Rotation required, Captain. Check it out. <laughs> I feel like we're almost done. Well. I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. <laughs> you did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Joanne is so... That's cool, Joanne trusted me to help I build her sculpture. Like eh, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. Lurid politics. Yeah, you hate it. It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. Super Wolf to LTS Lolo.
Coco. Chonky, I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? <sighs> Ten four. Okay. You're on it, Anu. Yes! Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's... that's it. That's... your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside! You're warm! Hey! You're leaving the hot zone! You're Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? The item is under the building that will blow you down. Now you're totally frozen. Dude, you're a snowman. Way cold. You're way out there, dude. Nope! As cold as ever. Not too far. Warm. You're warming up. Way cold. You're way out there. There, dude. Now you're totally frozen. <laughs> you're in the middle zone. And I know what was that last clue? Dude! This is not that hard. I've hidden the item under the building that loves the wind. You're lost, Sean. Nope. As cold as ever. Getting closer. Getting warm. Warm. Nope. As cold as ever. Getting closer. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. You're warming up. Now you're totally frozen. You're way out there, dude. Okay. Arr, I'm a shitty pirate, and I'm so done with this quest. Give you another hit. The first item is under the windmill. Mm, okay. I'll keep on hunting. You can do it. Think, Sean. Oh, it burns. Ha 
Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. I bet Hippie started this place. I'm starting to see why. You're now. way out there, dude. I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Yeah, but then everybody would freak out. Plus, you can't do food coloring out here. Nice mess. <sighs> Daniel will never change. Karen taught me some cool off-the-grid shit. Daniel, copy? Give me a clue. Come on! This is so easy. The second item is where the sun meets the earth. Joanne picks up all kinds of scraps from the desert. <laughs> she even found a boat once. That's it. I'm done. Sorry, Inano. You're lost, dude. The sacred treasure is still mine! Oh, I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Yes, 100% her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. <laughs> you okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. Ooh, I, I like to yes. take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Well, okay. thanks for letting Daddy, me be a part of it. Here I go. Oh, thank you, Sean. 
This part of town is dead this time of year. Watch out! Gotta empty that truck. No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. Hey. Glad to that see counts. you survived the night in the desert. Hey, what's up? Hey, good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> The deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, <laughs> thanks, Angel. <laughs> Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. And so quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play, but I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. <laughs> nah. Been a while since Daniel's been afraid of animals. Or anything. He knows he's the bigger threat. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. <laughs> Me neither. But I never figured it out, so... I don't try anymore. That kind of power is dangerous, Sean. He's a walking weapon. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. Maybe I even fucked him up more. <sighs> Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh, you didn't tell me you were married. I uh, used to be. She died a few years ago. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's life. But at least I got an angry stepdaughter in the deal. <laughs> we were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. But we eventually made our peace. Anyway, you can't go back. Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Okay, time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. 
This is a rest stop. I know. I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather, sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? <laughs> Everybody's very cool and way different. Can't even believe nobody's freaking out about Daniel's power. Well, Sean, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around it. But people here are not going to get in your space. They have their own past, too. <sighs> That's why people come here from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes. I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? This place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but... Her name is still written all over this place. Well... Thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. By the way, can you grab your evil little bro so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? <laughs> Hola. Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. Should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <sighs> <sighs> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art.
It's so big and pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Wolf, better be careful of hunters out here. Oh, whatever. The Wolf Brothers aren't afraid of any hunter. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Um, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. <laughs> you actually helped us. You gave us a place to recharge and... lay low. No kidding. I was so beat down after Haven Point. <sighs> I know. This is the best place to take some time for yourself. You don't get that chance very often in life. Just know I love both of you so much. I know you had it rough lately, but it'll be better when you're settled. <clears throat> By the way, if you wanted to, you could come with us to Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there. But I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. This gonna last forever. Uh, so... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. Awesome! Cool. Let's light up the sky.
Are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. Why can't everybody leave us alone? Oh, honey. What are you gonna do now? Take off and hide? Not this time. <laughs> I can't just run from this forever. So I'll do what I have to to help you. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. That's bullshit, Mom. Don't give up. Don't. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Thank you. So much, Karen. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. You have to stay true to yourselves. But it's hard when somebody or something gets in the way. It can get ugly. You have to find some sort of balance. We'll do whatever we can to survive. We already did. I know. You did what you had to, to protect your brother all the way from Seattle to Arizona. And I'm sorry, you had to make hard decisions to stay safe. But sometimes, you just have no other choice. Okay, this is the last roundup. Wait, let me say bye to Joanne. All right. I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. better with words than me, but still, here it goes. It took me some time, but I think I get why you are who you are. Maybe we're not that different. I'm sorry for trouble. You've done your best for us. And don't deserve what's coming. We'll make up for it. One day. Once the dust has settled. Take care. And talk soon. Sean.
should go see what David wants now. Okay, old gal. Let's check you out one last time. Hi, Sean. Hey, guys. Swing by our place before you leave. Oh, need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. So... Do you think your truck will make it all the way to the border? Oh, it will. It's never failed me before. How long have you been driving for? Not long enough. Dad taught me, but... I always had other plans. We didn't go cruising too much. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be too. <sighs> yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. <laughs> Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Wish he was here with us. It's bullshit that we get to see Puerto Lobos, but he doesn't. I know. But Esteban is still with you. And he always wanted you and Daniel to see where he came from. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running, of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. <sighs> I just want to get this shit over with. So we can start over, if we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. You're gonna have to learn to trust him and let go, even if that scares you sometimes. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out, like you always do. Okay, better get back to my tune-up. Hey, don't forget to see David. I will. This place has too many adults. But I'm gonna miss it. Sean. Hey. Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. As if money could make up for everything he's lost. 
wonder where David got this police scanner. Okay, how does this thing work? Uh, okay. Only gotta search between 140 and 160. Mmm, don't think so. Keep scanning. It would be weird to be back on the road with Daniel. After all this time in a community. Doesn't sound like cops. Another hit from the backwoods on dusty rocks. FM. Hooking you up all day long. No. Rock and roll. Wait, is this it? <sighs> yes. Okay. Don't fuck with it. Shit. I can't. Uh, ten four. I'm on my way. Copy that. <sighs> now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. <sighs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. Must be his wife. <laughs> Time's taking a serious toll on him. Must be his wife. <laughs> Time's taking a serious toll on him since this. Poor guy. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. That must have been the best meal ever to frame it on the wall. <laughs> yeah, me and David won't be sharing any playlist. Hmm, <laughs> they look cool. I wonder which one is his daughter. Cool portraits. <laughs> Didn't think David had a taste for the arts. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <sighs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. <laughs> sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just... Honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. Don't mean to order you around. Bad habits.
let's die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane, well, my stepdaughter and her friend were among the only survivors. We lost everyone else. Jeez. I'm sorry. I used to hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away. Never to look back. While I was trying to rebuild. So... Why did you come here in the end? I had to. Arcadia Bay would have been my grave. I met Steve. He owns the house behind Stanley and Arthur's. He'd lost relatives in the storm too. So I was in a really bad shape. We became friends. And he told me about this place. How I could start fresh here. He was right. I know that moving on is a, a tough process, no matter the situation. Sean, I'm going to do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now, but I want to be straight up with you, okay? Yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. That you think there's no other way out. And you're neck deep in trouble, all right. But you and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? You're still young. I bet they'd be lenient if you step up and face the law. We've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. You're too young to be dealing with all this. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So, I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, sweetie. What's up? No shit. Told you New Yorkers were assholes. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So... Did you get to say goodbye to Away? Yeah. Kinda sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, Inano. Come here. Mom... I... I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It means so much to me that I got to see you. I know life has not been fair. But you're brave and strong. You're gonna make it to Mexico. Just watch out for your power, Daniel. And your big brother. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it.
Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. <sighs> Let's hit the road. Something wrong? We're almost there, okay? <laughs> That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So, what's the problem? What? What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? Forever. We can live like kings, dude. The dollar goes a long way there. We don't need much. Yeah, right. So who am I gonna play with? What do I do for fun? Come on. You can make friends when you go back to school. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? Everybody likes you, man. You'll be the cool American kid in no time. I can do that. Maybe. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay, I guess. Daniel, I get scared too, you know, but we'll be, we'll be fine. Okay, I trust you.
so big. Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. All units be advised. After the raid on the way, there was no sign of Sean and Daniel Diaz. We believe they left within the past few hours. The two brothers are still considered armed and dangerous. Proceed with caution. At this time, only the mother of the fugitives has been arrested. Oh no. Sean, why would they arrest Mom? Why? So they can give her shit. But she didn't do anything. The cops will have to let her go. They better. I'll teach them a lesson if they don't leave us alone. They're going to. Once we're over that fucking wall. Hey, Sean, why would they build this? Well, you know, it's a border, man. So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah, take it easy. You can do it. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. We did it! We fucked that shit up. Thanks to you. It's gonna be all right now. We've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh, man. Oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean. It'd be cool if we could just walk to the beach. Can't wait to go shopping. I'm dying to get some choco crisp. It'll be so Daniel! Daniel! Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! No. No way, not now! Daniel! Hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, oh! Oh, oh shit.
shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well? Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! Going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. We're Americans! Americans, damn it! Now it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? Do we look like terrorists? We're just kids. Not after you blow a wall up. So tell me the plan. You're not cops. You can't arrest us. No, but we work with them. And they sure appreciate our help. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on. We have to deal with this kid. No, Stop bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. D don't move. What? What the fuck? Get it off. Stop. Get it off. Jesus. What the fuck is going on? What? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. <laughs> fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegals! Fuck's sake! What I say? Oh. Uh, okay. Up. Up. Take a breath. You okay now? Daniel! What? Uh, I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest. Estás bien. Sí. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla y este frijolito de aquí es uh, es Ángel. O oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron uh, cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya 
habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. Hope that Campbell's almost done with the paperwork. Then we're out and we're not coming no back. No way I can break through that door without uh, Daniel's help. fucking gross. I wonder how long they've been here. And why. ¿Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. En realidad, um, queremos llegar a México. ¿A México? No mames. ¿Pero por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí, nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. ¿Por qué necesitan cruzar tan desesperadamente? Por las mismas razones que todos. No pudimos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria. En México, la violencia tiene muchas formas. No se puede vivir así. Cuando mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado por una pandilla, nos fuimos. Si hubiésemos pedido quedarnos, nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo, pero... Queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Pero, ¿no es elegir la solución más fácil? ¿Escaparse de sus problemas en vez de quedarse y afrontarlos? ¿No es lo que están haciendo ustedes? Tú, más que nadie, tienes que saber que no hay nada fácil en cruzar desiertos y fronteras para sobrevivir. No quiero desanimarte, amigo, pero lo de México no va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico y me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero... Allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Tuve suerte que mi padre trabajaba duro. Que fuimos bien integrados. Lo comprendí cuando murió. Cuando me quedé solo. Lo siento mucho, hijo. Cuando eres extranjero. <ríe> tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglártelas. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work. No, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. <sighs> Mom. Stop causing trouble. No, no, excuse me. But I didn't blow up a fucking wall. I'm not a terrorist. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. Your facts are just bigotry and hatred. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I hate what you did to my country. Our borders. We have a right to protect our sovereign nation, and we will. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. Now you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. What you say? <laughs> oh, see? Take it easy. This is our country. You win. I would like to get out of here soon. El odio no va a ganar. Dile esto, Carla. Ya basta. No vale más. Fuck you, you wetback. You and your what girlfriend. What the fuck? Yo! Madison! Everybody calm down. <sighs> Campbell, tell me we're out of here. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, you have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. And no more fighting down here. Or I'm gonna get mean. Okay? Let's move it. All right. Sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. <sighs> Fuck. What did they do with Daniel? I hope he's all right. Of course not. No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. Why do you care? How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? Oh, shit. Is it morning already? I haven't seen Daniel since yesterday. Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. You went to jail instead. You will be a great one. Shut up! What? <sighs> so tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? Why am I in here? Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. If I have to come back here again, you're going to solitary. Got it? There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? No. Shit. Yeah. Coffee's gonna make me feel so much better. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Vandalizing a motel room. 
caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada, and its leader is found dead short after. Hmm. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Keep your teenage crisis for Agent Flores. She's on her way. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey, it's not up to me, kid. I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. It wasn't my fault. All I did was try to survive. Yeah, I guess you did. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident, so why didn't you wait for the police? I panicked, okay? Then it was too late. We were already criminals. Well, it's no reason to make things worse by running away, kid. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? Those were just random accidents. Yeah, it's crazy, but it just happens around us. I can't explain it. Uh-huh. Listen. Once is an accident. Twice is luck. Three times is enemy action. Whoa! What is that? Uh, sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. You okay? How do you feel? I, I'm okay. Just a little headache. Dude, who cares? I took care of the others as well. Let's go. Yeah. Hey! Hey! This is Long. bullshit! We gotta go! Get us out of here! This good enough. Shall we try to make peace with these morons? Sean! Who are these people? Well, Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico. And God, he's out for the count. How the fuck did you criminals get out, huh? Maddie, don't. Good thinking, Daniel. That's what it fits, right? Well, we don't want him around anyway. Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel? Whoa. That's it? Gracias. Muchas gracias. Espérenme aquí. Until I check this out. Of course. Holy mother. How'd you do that? How? Well, what the fuck are you? Do not move! Wait! Sean! Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. So 
one. What do I do? Quick. I gotta find something to stop them. Come on. Get rid of we them. will shoot if we need to. Understand? Don't do anything stupid, kid! Okay, for real, though. Who are you, kids? Throw that locker. Please! Idiots. They should have known better. Yeah. You saved our asses. Now, let's bail. Sean, I think our things are in there. What did you do? You fucking... No. We oh, gotta get out of here. No time to go. Step back. Nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Okay, but be quick. Sure thing is, you'll pay for this one day. They must really feel threatened to put so much effort into this. Let's keep our heads cool. After this, you're not gonna hunt shit anymore. Bet it belongs to one of these trigger happy people. There's probably more of them. Look at that. Let's go. Crime Central. Come on, Sean. We gotta go. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. It freaks me out when he uses it. Take it out, Daniel. Que Dios los bendiga. Okay, go, go! Let's roll, Daniel. Chasing us. Not yet. Emergency! This is an all points bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the El Ray police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean, it's the 4th of July. Our first one without Dad. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Sean, we can't let them get us. Sean! Sean Diaz! It's over! Don't make this worse! Get out of the car! Slow! Wave your hand above your head! Do exactly what I say!
You know that day? In Seattle? The day Dad was shot? I think about it every day. And I would give anything to change what happened. But I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. But you are the one with the real power, and you know how to use it now. You're not a kid anymore. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will be strong. Be brave. Be a fighter, Inano. Like you already are. Don't say that. Let's just get out of here. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. Brothers end.
We can go now. Yeah. Let's go home.